Hi guys, just wanted to apologise for this episode coming out as late as it has, i.e. right at the end of the month, but for once, it's not my fault, but we'll cover that later. For now, enjoy the show. Hello and welcome guys! It looks like a lot of you have made it through 2018 generally unscathed. Unscathed enough, that is, to join me again here in 2019 for five of the first films of the year that I'm going to bring to you. Now, January is a bit of a stinker for movies, but me and Jay have cobbled together some picks for you to check out. So, Jay. Yeah. Play the New Year's tape, bitch. I've got it in droves. Yeah. Welcome to the New Year, folks, on the 1st of January. Welcome to Marwen. Mark Hogenkamp, a victim of a brutal and violent assault, finds a unique and beautiful therapeutic outlet by constructing a miniature World War II village called Marwin Carl in his yard to help him through his recovery process. What a beautiful story. Oh my god. <laughs> the Upside Now on the 11th of January and another trip to Hartsville. A comedic look at the unexpected friendship between Philip, a Park Avenue billionaire left paralysed after a hang gliding accident, and convicted felon Dell, recently released from prison and in need of a job and a fresh start. From worlds apart, Philip and Dell form an unlikely bond, bridging their differences and gaining invaluable wisdom in the process, giving each man a renewed sense of passion for all life's possibilities. On the 11th of January now, it's Stan and Ollie! Already legends by 1953, beloved comedy duo Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy attempt to reignite their film careers and set out to perform live shows in what becomes their swan song. A gruelling theatre tour of post-war Britain. The tour becomes a hit, but long buried tension and Hardy's failing health start to threaten their new act and friendship. Just like ours. Forever! Come with me now, folks. It's the 18th of January and it's time for Glass. Following the conclusion of Split, David Dunn uses his supernatural abilities to pursue Kevin Wendell Crumb's superhuman persona of the beast, along with the other 23 personalities in the disturbed man's head. In a series of escalating encounters, while the shadowy presence of Elijah Price going by, Mr. Glass emerges as an orchestrator who holds the secrets Fucking critical to both men! And <laughs> he got so involved while fucking it up. <laughs> it's the 25th of January now. Go see Vice. Vice explores how a bureaucratic Washington insider quietly becomes the most powerful man in the world as vice president to George W. Bush, reshaping the country and the globe in ways still felt today. I can still feel it today in my Gucci and balls. <laughs> Now, they weren't the worst movies I've ever seen come out in January, were they, Jay? Not at all. They weren't too bad. But what was my pick of the month this month? There's clearly the fantastic Oscar-nominated, potentially never, Glass. Glass. Absolutely fantastic. Let me know what you thought about that film down in the comments section below as we move into Tom's Top Picks of 2018. And for the first time ever, it's the coveted TMM Face Award for the best film pick of the year. Jay, lead us in please. I mean, I can try. Yeah, Tom hasn't done his fucking list. We'll see you next month for that. <laughs>